Hello, my name is Renzer and today I wanted to tackle the topic of effectively controlling your assault rifles. Now with people talking about the division, you know, how it being an RPG or whatever you want to call it, there was this danger of having this game being a point and click adventure, whereas we're, you know, just aim, you press down the trigger and, you know, you go, you happy go lucky. Uh, with sniper rifles you can see it's pretty much that, but for example, if you use assault rifles, how you conduct yourself while firing it does make a difference. Fortunately, the notion of recoil and bloom does exist in this game. So, recoil is what makes your crosshair go up, and bloom is what expands your crosshair, making you less accurate. When your crosshair expands, your bullets go left and right. So, here's an example of it. See, my crosshair goes up, that's recoil, and my crosshair expands, that's bloom. Now, if you just press down the trigger, you can definitely try to fight the, the recoil, but there's nothing you can do about the bloom, unless you do two things. You can either try bursting, like this, which kinda, you know, you give off a few rounds and then you let go, you allow your crosshair to come back to its original form, or you can do a technique which I call tap bursting, which is you click a mouse a few times, you burst, you click a mouse a few times. It is really effective because it allows you to empty your magazine without ceasing to fire. This is important because the more accurate you are, the easier it will be for you to get those headshots over and over. Believe it or not, headshots are actually very important in this game because more headshots means more damage per bullet and that means less bullets per kill, meaning you have more ammunition to effectively take down your targets. Now here you will see some examples of me employing this technique to good use and you will notice that I am able to keep my crosshair very tight and very accurate throughout the entire combat session. Now, at the end of the day, whether you use my tappers technique or something different, it doesn't really matter as long as you can keep that crosshair tight on the enemy's head. Now, of course, if uh, your foe is closer to you, uh, you can allow yourself to expand that crosshair a bit. But you should always try to employ, um, you know, good tap bursting or at least a tight crosser because that will make it a lot easier for you to hit vital spots on your enemies. If I went just spraying and praying on that guy, probably uh, the confrontation would be a lot harder for me because I wouldn't be able to get those accurate shots on his weak points. Now I know that there are many modifications that you can put on your assault rifle that will change the way it behaves during bloom and recall, but at the end of the day, a good trigger control, uh, keeping that you know crosshair tight, will work no matter what. Now, if you're feeling very accurate about your headshots, you might want to look into you know using some talents that actually give you some benefits while headshotting. Uh, I won't go into detail about that, but just take a look. Uh, but if you enjoyed this tutorial, why not hit that subscribe button? There's more Division content on the way. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you both on stream and in game. Renzer out.